Today's topic is about yoga for hernia and we are specifically talking about inguinal hernia. Inguinal hernia is the most common of the external hernias and it is mostly found in men. So we are going to talk about the inguinal hernia for men specifically. <clears throat> so what is hernia? Hernia is a, is a certain condition in, in which the fatty tissue or the intestines, they bulge, they try to bulge out from the weak points in the abdominal area. So what are the weak points in the abdominal area? One of them you can say is the navel. The, you know, we have this hole in the navel, so that can be a weak point. Basically, any kind of hole or weak uh, tissues which uh, where there is there is a chance of the intestines or the fatty tissue to bulge out so the next are basically the inguinal canals the inguinal canals are basically the passages through which the testes they go downwards what happens is that when a when a baby is small then the testes are actually located above they, are, they have not passed down to the scrotum. So at a certain point of time, these testes, they go down into the scrotum sac and they pass through the inguinal canal. This inguinal canal basically is a small uh, hole, uh, hole-like opening or a passage you can say. And in inguinal hernia, what happens is that these, the intestines, uh, intestine or the fatty tissue, it actually tries to bulge out from that inguinal canal which can be on the right side or the left side generally if a person is having uh, inguinal hernia then uh, he will be because i'm talking about men so he will be uh, facing kind of dull pain or discomfort in that region near the groin region and also those person who are having inguinal hernia you can see a certain a noticeable bulge in that region uh, where the person is having the hernia it can be in the right side or the left side and this that bulge actually whenever the person presses that bulge it goes inside this is basically a very basic diagnosis of inguinal hernia uh, i would like to say a very important thing if anyone who is having inguinal hernia and if you are watching this video uh, please do consult the doctor once if you feel you are having this uh, condition and having a lot of discomfort. Please do consult the doctor. It is good to do yoga and even many doctors, they also recommend yoga. But once you should at least assess what the current condition is and accordingly you can go ahead uh, with yoga or if it's too bad, you know, the doctor will suggest you a certain treatment. So the causes of inguinal hernia. One of the causes is during the development stage of the baby, there is some congenital cause due to which the person can have this problem since birth or a tendency of this problem since birth. Another very important cause is obesity. Also aging, aging can be a factor and constipation, chronic constipation can also lead to inguinal hernia. Let us talk about the cure. So one of the most important things about the cure is that those people who are obese, it is very important for them to gradually uh, cut down on the fat. So in this condition, strenuous exercise is not recommended. Strenuous walking or jogging is totally not recommended. What a person can do is maybe they can, they can do mild fasting or even it is better if you can do intermittent fasting in intermittent fasting basically uh, the person will have two meals a day for me personally i also do intermittent fasting i have one meal at around 11 o'clock and the next meal i have around six o'clock in the evening so now going to the cure so i'm going to show you three asanas that almost everyone can do they're very simple asanas so for the first asan please lie down on the back so now bend the right leg 
and breathe in and now breathing out press the abdomen like this with the leg in case a person has hernia on this side he, uh, he can press the hernia so stay there for half a minute and then going down the same thing can be done on the other side so other side also same if a person has hernia on this side they, he can do the same thing pressing the abdomen especially the hernia so whenever we press like this the hernia basically will tend to go inside so that is good And also, please be careful that when you are uh, pressing it over here and in case you have hernia on this side, be aware that if you press too much, this side of the hernia may try to protrude. So, accordingly, you should apply the pressure. You can apply gentle pressure or, you know, accordingly so that you don't push the hernia uh, to this side in case especially you have hernia on this side. Same thing, staying for half a minute and then down. And then with the both the legs together, same thing, pressing the abdomen, holding here for 30 seconds. And then down. So the next asana is Padottan asana so that breathing in and raise the right leg up as much you can raise then breathing out down then the other leg breathing in raise the left leg up breathing out down again I'm showing breathing in up breathing out down breathing in up breathing out down for so this you can start with 10 10 on each side the third asana is vajrasana so for vajrasana you can sit like this keeping the spine straight even this asana is very helpful for those who have inguinal hernia, you can close your eyes. So you can sit in this posture for as long as you're comfortable. And then slowly relax. So these three asanas are really good for the hernia condition. Please do practice these and also if you want a customized program for you, customized package for you of which asanas and which pranam uh, are good for you, which will, which will heal the hernia condition, please feel free to connect with me. Uh, my website, as you can see, I'm also giving it in the description box and please contact me if you want any uh, help and if you want to uh, learn a specific uh, specific asans a specific package which is good for this condition because everyone is very different every person is different and also accordingly then the asans also change so these three asans they are basic asans which almost everyone can do but depending on the person the asans and the pranam also change so do take care of yourselves and stay happy, stay healthy. Namaste.